We often repeat, Ya Ikhwan, the real iltizam, the real uh, adherence to the deen is not restricted to outwardly appearance. Look, there's a balanced approach. You will find some people who say, you can look like whatever you want. You can shave your beard and can keep your trousers beneath, beneath your ankles and you could look like, you know, a rapper or, a, or a whatever. And ma fi mushkila. What matters is your heart. And we say you are wrong. You have no right to say that. Because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the opposite of what you're saying. He commanded us to do things which have to do with our outwardly appearance. And you have no right to undermine that or look at it as something insignificant. Rather, you must carry it out. That's one extreme. Don't worry about the outside. Fix your heart. Well, if your heart was fixed, your outside would have been fixed. If the battery is working, the phone will function. You have a nice looking phone, no battery. Hey, the heart is busted. It doesn't matter how nice if the phone would have functioned had the battery been good. And the outwardly would have been good had the heart been good. There's a relationship between them. The other extreme is, what is important is the beard and your thobe above your ankles. But then afterwards you can curse, you can lie, you can cheat, you can trick the people, you can do all things that are haram. It doesn't matter because you're a, you know, uh, someone who adheres to the sunnah. We say, no, you're wrong as well. We must have both. The heart has to be alive. The heart has to be mindful with Allah. Because Allah scares us in the Quran. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أُولَٰئِكَ فِي ضَلَالٍ مُّبِينٍ So woe to, those, woe to those whose hearts are hard concerning the remembrance of Allah. Those are in manifest misguidance. Allah said, وَيْلٌ 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 لِلْمُصَلِّينَ وَيْلٌ لِكُلِّ هُمَزَةٍ لُمَزَةٍ When wail comes, it's a threat from Allah. Meaning they will be punished. And according to some of the ulama, wail is a valley in Jahannam. So severe that Jahannam seeks refuge with Allah from the severity of this valley in it. وَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ So don't, it's not about looking with no beard, big thick beard. The, the, the beard size is not something you control. It's not about what you look like. If the, if the substance is missing, ma'alish, this could be of no value in the sight of Allah. We need both, ya akhwan. We need both. And a special lecture will be dedicated to this idea of hollow commitment. A commitment which is outwardly, but inside, there isn't a real relationship with Allah. It's fake. It's fake. Only for the people. Not for the sake of Allah. Very dangerous path. The path of the Khawarij. Many of the deviant groups, this was their path. In the sight of people, the Prophet said to the Sahaba, their hands will be crusty from the abundance of sujood. If you compare your salah and your fasting to theirs, you will belittle yours. But they are the dogs of the hellfire. So hey, that's why the love of Allah doesn't come for you if you look according to the sunnah outside. And it will not come to you if you're pure inside and you abandon the sunnah outside. The love of Allah will come for those who purify themselves inwardly and outwardly.